Today's video is from signals and systems and here we'll be discussing another technique of solving and chapter question 2.1a and that technique is by graphical method. Now before we go to the question I'll just briefly explain uh, how to plot how to plot from equation to graph. If this is the equation given, how do we plot in, into the graph? What is this equation means actually? This two is the magnitude, two delta, delta is one. Delta n minus one means that the, mag, uh, the signal is shifted to a place where n minus one or n is equal to one. Let's see how is that. So this is the uh, uh, we have axis drawn, the two axis, horizontal, vertical. Now two is this magnitude. Where it will be? Now we'll just put n minus one equals zero. That is n equals one. So at n equals one, we should have a magnitude of two. So this is the plot or the graph for this signal. What if we have graph given and then we uh, uh, need the equation from graph to equation? It's just opposite. So I'm using the same example. This is the example. Two things. What is the magnitude? Two or two delta. And where is it? It is located at n is equal to one. So n is equal to one means n minus one equals zero. So it will be two delta n minus 1 and same way let's say this is the signal you can see it is at n is equal to 0 we have value of 1 that is 1 delta and then at uh, n is equal to 3 the value is minus 1 that is minus delta and so we can write it like this that the delta n minus delta n3 shifted by 3 once we have understood this, we can easily solve the questions. So this is the question that I'm going to discuss. I had already solved this question in another video. Uh, and the method that we had used was what is called the uh, mathematical method. So before I discuss that, let's just plot this signal. The first one, Xn. And I hope by now you understand delta n is 1 at n is equal to 0. Similarly, 2 at n is equal to uh, n minus 1 equal to 0 is that is n is equal to 1. So this way you can plot this signal. And similarly, you can plot the other signal. And now the technique that we had followed is the mathematical method. That means we just write the values 1. 2, 0, minus 1, 0. 1, 2, 0, minus 1. Now, we, the only thing that we have to do that at n is equal to 0, we put an underline. So this is the underline. And similarly here it is 2, 0, 2. So 2, 0, 2. Where is n? 0. Here, this point, middle point. So this we underline. And while writing, we have to align the underlying points. And now we can easily multiply, simple multiplication. Two ones are two, then two twos are four, like this. Then shift, then shift, and add. So this is the final answer. If we had written uh, the other way, that first we had written x and uh, h, and then x here also the same rule applies, that we have to align the underlines and then do the simple mathematical uh, multiplication so we get the same answer now this is very easy and generally uh, your teacher may not appreciate if you are doing uh, but this can be used to verify your answer very easily so now why i'm making this video is uh, okay now this we have written into the equation form so the reason for making this video is that I got a mail from the student. For the solution, I tried to follow your method, doing it graphically. 
but I got confused. Please, can you clarify? So, keeping in view his request, I'm uh, just trying to do it graphically. So, these are the graphs. But what to do for uh, the first thing that we do uh, in graphical method that we change the scale. Now, the scale is n here, n here. So, we change it to k. And the reason for changing is that subsequently we'll be using this variable n. So after changing, this becomes xk, k, and similarly hk and k. The next step, and there are two methods that we'll follow. The first method, we flip any one signal around. So either we flip this one or uh, this one. In this case, I uh, will flip this one because I prefer to flip the one-sided signal. Now this is one-sided signal, that is from zero right is all the signal, whereas this is two-sided signal, from zero both sides there is a, a signal. So first I'll do this and then I'll do this. So flip the first one, this is the one, flip at or around zero point. So just turn it, we have turned it, couple of things, xk will become x minus k and these variables will now become with the minus sign. Next we do is move the signal too far away to a point n. So we move it to a point n. So what will happen is 0 will become now n. So we'll add n with all these. So it is n, n minus 1, n minus 2, etc. And similarly with x minus k we'll add an n. So it will become x and minus k. Okay, done this far. Now what we need to do is that we move this signal to a point where there is an overlap. So we can see this can overlap when we move it right here. So let's see. Okay, so this is the point where we are seeing the first overlap. What is that point? N is equal to minus 1. Okay, and so the signal x n minus k will now become x minus 1 minus k, changing n into minus 1. So for n is equal to minus 1, uh, the multiplication of the two, that is x minus 1 k and h k will be 1 and 2, 1 into 2, 2. So this is uh, the value that we get at n is equal to minus 1. Now we move it further. We move it further to n now goes to point 0. So n is equal to now 0. And here is also an, another overlap. Now it's overlap of 2 and 2. So and the signal will now change, xn minus k will become x0 minus k. So x0 minus k into hk will be 2 into 2, 4. Okay, so these two values we got from the previous slide. And we were here. And now we will move to n is equal to 1. We were at n is equal to 0. Now we have moved to n is equal to 1 and now you can see this is an overlap only 1 and 2 so 1 and 2 2 we move further to point 2 here and and then now you can see there are two overlaps these two and these two so how do we write same technique 2 into 2 2 into 2 and plus 2 into minus 1 or 1 minus 1 into 2. So the answer will be 2. Okay, and so these four steps that we have got and for n is equal to 2 and now we move to n is equal to 3. n is equal to 3 here and you can see there is no overlap. So the answer will be 0. This is the answer. And now we got to move, keep on moving till such time this whole signal moves away from the uh, upper signal.
So let's move another step. At n is equal to 4, now you can see this is the overlap. So minus 1 and 2, so answer is minus 2. Okay, so these are the uh, six values that we have got, but we need to move further from here. If you move further, n is equal to 5. Now you can see this whole thing has come out of the uh, first signal, move away. So there is no overlap. So we can say that for n greater than or equal to 5, there will be no overlap. And so the output will be 0. And <clears throat> this was our mathematical answer. You can see that in this case also we have got the same answers 2. 4, 2, 2, 0, minus 2, 2, 4, 2, 2, 0, minus 2. And so we can write the answer in equation form now. We have already learned how to write this. So this is our 0 point. 4 will be at 0 point. Left is the negative n. So it will be n plus 1. And right is the positive n. So it will be n minus 1, n minus 2, n minus 3. And then the magnitude. So this is the way that you do, but then the curious mind may ask why, what will happen if we move the HK, so let's see, we have flipped this and just for you to understand, I have put in a dot here, so flipped it, so the dot came here, same technique, moved it to end, so it will now h minus k will become h and minus k and then we pull okay yeah this is a very important point where do we put n in the scale always n should be at point zero so with n at point zero this will become n plus one this will become n minus one and now we keep pulling Till such time there is an overlap. So at this point we can see there is an overlap. And what is that point? N is equal to minus 1. But n is equal to minus 1. The overlap is 1 into 2. We have to ch we have changed this n from n to minus 1. And similarly we move further. Uh, n is equal to 0, we have this 2 and 2 uh, overlap, so it is 4. We got these two values, now we move further to n is equal to 1. Again there is an overlap of 1 and 2, so 2. Further n is equal to 2, this is the overlap and this overlap, so 2 to 4 and 1. Uh, minus 1 into 2, so the answer will be 2. Okay, further now we move to n is equal to 3, no overlap, so 0, 0. We move further right to n is equal to 4, there is an overlap, minus 1 and uh, 2, so minus 2. Move further n is equal to 5, now there is no overlap between the two signals, no overlap, therefore output will be 0, and from here also we get the same answer, you can see 2, 4, 2, 2, 0, minus 2, 2, 4, 2, 2, 0, minus 2, and the equation accordingly we write is the same equation. I hope you have been able to follow this, please let me know through your comments, thank you.